So I'm just going to do some testing on this car. It's a Honda Civic. I'm going to test the pressures on the uh, air conditioning system. These are my gauges, brilliant. Basically when you ain't using your gauges, always put your on the side so that you don't get dust inside of them and keep them clean. These gauges are brilliant, these are. They do all the refrigerants for different, for most makes of cars. Got a sight glass on. Basically you got your PSI on the outside, on your low and your high pressure side. Then you got like a centigrade for each gas and you can use that for more advanced diagnostics for testing the temperature of your condensers and your evaporators and things like that. So useful, but today we just need the PSI. So I'm going to connect these up, basically make sure they've wound all the way out and the uh, thing that operates the Strada valve is all the way in. I always buy these with these that on because it gives you extra bit of control. Fitting these can be awkward, just you just open them up like that and then try and get them level and they should just clip on. So that's it, they're on. Now when they're on, test make sure all the pipes are closed so there ain't gonna be no leaks. I tell you, that's another good thing about these, the sight glass as well, so when you fill in, you can check your refrigerant coming in. And the long leads. The longer your leads are, the less chance you are got a slug in your compressor when you refill. So, long leads, good gauges with all the gases on, a sight glass, these turn connections, I can't fault these gauges at all, they're brilliant. So now I'm just going to turn them down, well, what you're doing, you're closing that down so it's opening the Strada valve. And already I can tell there's nothing in this system, it's empty. So there's not really much more I can do about that. There's a leak on the system so I'll have to vacuum it down, I'll do a video on that next. There's your pressure switch, just that. So obviously that's reading there's no gas. It will not allow the clutch to come on the compressor so this system is basically dead so i'll do a vacuum test on this and see if it's leaking and then do a leak test so nothing more i could do on this one